Once starting Motive Wave, you'll be presented with, again, this startup screen where you'll have options available to you. So let's go through these options one by one. First option is Workspaces. From here, you can create a new workspace. Uh, you can modify an existing workspace. You can remove it. You can arrange the order in which they're listed up, down. Now, there's more details regarding workspaces, which we'll address in another video. And then with license, from this screen, your present license key will be listed. I don't have one here right now. Um, I'm just blacking it out for the purpose of this video. But your current license key will be listed there if you wish to change it for whatever reason. If you feel it's compromised, uh, you may ask for a new license key, in which case the older license key is no longer valid. In that case, you'd update it. Click on Update, and it will activate. Appearance, several options here. First option is you can select either a dark or light theme, or whatever you find is a preference or easier on the eyes. In this case, I have dark, but light is also available to you. Sizing, we have different sizes here, so this is small. I'll just try a few of them. We'll go with a medium. And then we can go with, again, whatever you find works best for you. I'm going to go back to the default. Auto update. Anytime an update is issued to our server, and anytime you start MotiveWave, MotiveWave will check for that update according to your specified settings here. So if you want to make sure you're always running the latest version of MotiveWave, and provided that you have ongoing support and updates, then MotiveWave will let you know that there's an update by checking based on the frequency you select here. So here are your five options. You can have it check for an update every time you start MotiveWave once per day, once per week, every two weeks or 30 days. Log files. These files may be requested from you when dealing with technical support. And what these files do is any errors that you encounter or any messages uh, that need to be looked at in regards to a specific problem are found in these files. And generally users do not need to look at these files the only time you would need to look at these files or find these files is if they are specifically requested from technical support. Okay, and then the last option about from here, the license key is listed, who it's licensed to, licensed to, as well as email address, what type of license, whether it's a trial, lease, or own, the addition, the installed modules, the present version, and the embedded Java version that MotiveWave is presently using. Okay, so that does it for this one, this video. We're moving on to the next.